Hi, this is Patrick Murray of Control House Systems Design. I would like to show you today the touch panel interface for the TPS6X or 6L touch panels in the Code2Go programming suite. As you see here along the top we have a display of what room is being controlled, where we are in the menu structure, and the time and date. Pressing the room name will display a list of other available rooms and also room groups. We could scroll through that list depending on how many rooms are in the system. That is what will be shown. Simply pressing a room name will change the room that is being controlled and also what functions are available in that room. Selecting music will display a list of the available music sources. Again, we could scroll from left to right through the sources and once a source is selected the system will be turned on and volume and power controls will be displayed along the bottom of the screen. We are currently not connected to a system but if we were the radio tuner would display some radio station information across the top and feedback for the presets. Presets can be saved using a push and hold function. Using the back button we could go back and select a different source. Using the right arrow we can scroll through different pages of controls. For example here are some favorites that can be customized. And using the power button we can shut the system down. Under the lights menu we have the opportunity to save lighting presets again using a push and hold function or control each lighting circuit individually. The off button is also nothing more than a preset so if there was a power outlet that needed to be needs to stay on at all times we can save that and even when selecting off that power outlet would remain powered. Windows. In this case we have four windows in this room. When there's more than one window circuit in a room we get the opportunity to control them all with one group of buttons. So pressing this button here will activate all four window circuits. Or of course we can control them individually. Moving along, under extras we have three other options of whole house control where we can quickly turn all music zones off or turn the lights off in all zones. There's an alarm clock function which we can set to a particular time and a particular day of the week and depending on what functions are available in each room we can select what happens when the alarm activates. So in room 1 we have music and lights available and we could select them both. So in a minute the music in this zone would turn on and the lights as well. Here we can adjust the snooze time and let's just wait here a few minutes and then we'll see the alarm message pop up. So now the alarm is activated. If we were in the room we would hear the music turn on, go to the start level and to the start source and the lights would turn on to preset 1. Here I could turn off the lights and music very quickly by pressing this button which would also deactivate the alarm clock or by pressing snooze it would also turn everything off and then in the snooze time the alarm would be activated again. We also get a feedback here so that we could see that we are snoozing.
for some entertainment during the commercials. We could play a quick game of blackjack. All cards are chosen at random, however it seems that the dealer always seems to win. Under Info, we get a quick overview of each room. So here we could scroll through the rooms across the top, and depending on what functions are available, we will get feedback for those functions. So in room 1, the lights are on, and the music is off. And the windows, we don't have feedback for them, but we can control them very quickly from here. So if I wanted to quickly turn the music on in all rooms, I could just... Here's our alarm clock coming back to us. We could turn that off for now. I could quickly scroll through here and turn the music on in all rooms. And then I could select a room and control the source. And just as quickly, I can reverse the process and turn lights and music off in all of the rooms. And quickly select a room as well, as an alternative to using this list. Under settings, we have several different options. Again, if audio is present, we have some options for the start volume to set the treble bass and balance and loudness and the start source. Start volume and start source become important when we are using the alarm clock. That is the level and the source that will be selected when an alarm is activated and also under the info page. If we were to turn the music on here, the start level and the source would be determined by the settings here and here. Under touch panel we have the built-in settings for brightness, hard key, the key click, power down, standby, things that are built into the touch panel that's specific to each touch panel. And here we also have the opportunity to change the background graphic. There are up to I believe 30 or 20 or 30 different graphics some are nice and others, but it's a matter of taste. And we also have the opportunity to change the color scheme. This changes the color of the background as well as the active and inactive states of the buttons themselves. There are currently two languages available in the Code2Go system, English and German. The user also has the ability to adjust the processor date and time in case it starts to drift a little bit. We can also set room groups here by selecting group 1. We'll start with nothing. I can say in group 1, rooms 1 and 2 are a part of that group. And then we'll say Group 2 is all rooms. So if I go back to the main menu and select Group 1, any function I choose here will select both rooms. Now there are no windows in Room 2, but that doesn't matter. It would still just contr control Room 1. However, for lighting, we have preset selection for multiple rooms at once. Again, we're controlling more than one room, so we cannot control the individual circuits. However, the presets for those rooms will be called. For music, whatever source is selected will be routed to that room and it will go to the start level of that room. So to prove this, we could go back to the info page and see that in room one, lights and music are on and in room two, the music is on. The reason the lights are on in room 1 is because we programmed the off scene to have a light on. 
So by turning that off and resaving it, then we will get the feedback we are looking for. Lights off, music on, lights off, music on. Let's go back to group one. and turn the system off. Music is off in room 1. Music is off in room 2. There are five different groups and they are all adjustable under the settings page. Unfortunately, again with settings, it's room dependent so if you are controlling a group and select settings, you will get this nice message that tells you, please select a room. And then the controls become available again. And that's it. If you have any questions, please contact us at info at control,